beautiful spring weekend, visitors flock to Rochester Institute of Technology, all to witness innovation and creativity in bloom. For a second straight year, the campus plays host to Imagine RIT, a festival showcasing the university's technological and artistic assets. Okay, green vehicles, let's line up. We're gonna get started soon. But those arriving early this morning are treated to something new. Months earlier, RIT President Bill Dessler issued a challenge to the campus community, calling on students, faculty, and staff to design and construct a vehicle that consumes less total energy than his very own electric bike. I just feel like it's important for all of us to move towards a more sustainable future. And I wanted our community to start thinking about that and actually to try to come up with some at least modestly practical alternatives to what we currently use. Perhaps no institution is better suited to take on such a challenge. As home to the Golisano Institute for Sustainability, RIT is a leading center for education and research in green technology. And so, on this day, they came. Ten challengers poised to maneuver a three-mile loop around campus while using the least amount of energy. At stake, either $1,000 in cash or one of President Dessler's prized antique banjos. His expectations are not what you might think. If I, if I don't give away my banjo, then I, somehow everything's going wrong. You know, so I think it's going to be a great race, but I expect to lose. For Abby Donner, participating in the Green Vehicle Challenge provides an opportunity to enhance her experience as a co-op with RIT's Golisano Institute. I mean, I learned a lot about how much work it takes and how far ahead you need to plan all this stuff and um, how important it is to get a really great team together. It makes me feel really, I don't know, excited to be here and be part of it. With only moments to spare, participants are making final adjustments while fine-tuning their strategies. We're not going to do any like high-speed maneuvering. Nice and easy. President Dessler, lead the way on your mark. Get set. Go. And with that, the Green Vehicle Challenge is underway. Each participant taking to the course gives evidence of RIT's innovation at work. Design features differ as greatly as the methods used to power this fleet. Harnessing the power of the sun, even the wind. Here comes the hill. Uh -oh. Obstacles, like the campus terrain, really put these vehicles to the test. And all rules of the road must be obeyed. Vehicles of the future are still subject to the restrictions of today. After completing the course, President Dessler waits at the finish to greet racers as they return. And he documents the fruits of their labor. 30 volts, 1.8 amp hours. In the end, two entries emerge victorious, including the facilities management services team, who takes home the banjo. It went really well. It was the best run we've done on the course so far, the lowest energy use. And Abby Donner and the Galasano team claim the cash. It was actually pretty exciting because we used less than we have in any of our trial runs this time. So I was really excited. I think the wind and stuff helped me on that big hill. I was able to coast really far and save a lot of energy. The success of RIT's first green vehicle challenge is a source of pride for all who've taken part. I think it's great. We had so many teams from RIT you know, sharing their team spirit and, uh, and a wide variety of vehicles. So it was great that so many people came out to see it. So congratulations to our winners, and most of all, congratulations to everybody who participated. It's a great day. Paul Stella, RIT University News.